Hello tubers! Today I'd like to show you how easy it is to convert your failing gauge voltage regulator to a dependable solid state one for under 10 bucks. Today we'll be working on this 86 Ford Ranger. These voltage regulators were used on multiple vehicles from the 60s to the late 80s. Let's have a quick comparison here and then we'll get started. Wire is wound around that bimetal strip, heating it causing the points to open when heated and closing while cooling creating a duty cycle which averages to around 6 volts. Note how it varies on the bulb flashes. Now let's have a look at how stable the solid state regulator is. When varying the voltage from 9 to 16 volts, the gauge voltage stays the same. These voltage regulators can be purchased on Amazon for right around 7 bucks. We'll start by drilling a quarter inch hole on each end of the old regulator housing. Then install some grommets for the wires to pass through. The 3M tape, which is sticky on both sides, is being used to mount the solid state regulator to the old housing. Next, remove the old parts from the connector plate. On your vehicle, you need to figure out which connector is 12 volt in and 6 volt out. On this solid state voltage regulator, the red wire is 12 volts in, the yellow wire is 6 volts out. Pre-tin the connections and solder the wires to the tabs. The mounting bracket is the ground, so clean an area to solder the wires. Once again, pre-tin and solder the wires to the bracket. Set the connector plate back on the housing and recrimp the tabs. Here's a look at the finished product. This design has snaps, same style as a 9 volt battery which connected to the circuit board. Many of the earlier ones have a spade type connector. Actually, with those types, one wouldn't need a soldering gun or even the old housing. Just several spades and an eyelet connector for the ground wires. While a dash is removed, it's not a bad time to replace the bulbs too. Here's a tip for you. If you would like your dash to be more visible at night, instead of using the 194 bulbs, install some 168s. I even set up a comparison for you. Well, time to put the dash back in. Just got back from a test drive, real happy with how these regulators work. A little more advice for you. Some vehicles have three gauges hooked to the regulator. Fuel, temp and oil pressure. If these gauges don't work, or vary a lot, the regulator is always the first suspect. If only one of your gauges is acting erratic, you should always check the sending unit first for the fuel, coolant temp, or oil pressure. I would like to take a moment to thank you all for the likes and subs. They are greatly appreciated. There's a lot more one-of-a-kind things that I built here, so stay tuned. Feel free to ask a question or leave a comment. Hope to catch you back here again.